Hey everyone, we are back with what's sold on eBay for the weekend. A big weekend for us on eBay. We sold a lot of stuff here. One thing on one of our other platforms, but a lot of stuff for us to pack up. So it's probably going to take us a minute to get through it, but we do want to get done so we can have some time to relax before bed. This is my beautiful wife, Linda. She's had a bit of a rough day today, not feeling the greatest. So uh, prayers for her. I'm sure when you're watching, this will already be after the fact, but hope so. hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> if not, she probably needs to go to the hospital. Anyway, so she's had a rough day, but I told her she could have the day off, but she insisted on being out here and helping. So let the record show that Cameron did not force her, offered to do it all on his own so she could rest and relax, and she chose to come out here. So. Last time this happened, I was pregnant, or I was just given birth, so. What? Last time you missed? Last time I missed a video. No, it was your gallbladder. Um... And you missed the one on... Um... Mm, like a month ago or you were cleaning the church one day and Tori and I did the video you've missed a few not, not a weekend one not a weekend one only two weekend ones I think yeah so, my gallbladder yeah. and then and you had a baby. when I had Tori yeah so she's pretty regular guys and she's for her fans she said whoever you are out there she's here for you anyways uh, I know one of you because you always comment uh first that or how did we do this weekend uh so in Mercari we had one sale for $25 shipped. Um, we'll, we'll go over it. it real quick. Um, it is an air cast cuff for the that kind of knee knee replacement surgery. Yeah, like kind of like just the water and like the cold yeah. water on there. Again, we told you before one of the reasons we started Mercari was for these because you're not supposed to sell them on eBay. We sold the lid and the power cord the other day for 30 bucks, I think, shipped, and we just sold this for. 25 25 so uh, it is free shipping i think for this one so we're stuck with it but it's pretty light even if it goes over a pound the whole point is to make a couple extra bucks on some of the stuff ebay maybe you can't sell on and also some of our other stuff is sold there as well so we're happy with that happy to see it go and um yeah ebay is our bread and butter it's our you know uh main course here so i guess it would be i don't know what kind of analogy we're trying to use but how do we do on ebay <laughs> So on eBay, we had 44 sales this weekend for a total of just over $1,700. So a good weekend. Lots of stuff to pack up. A couple of big items here and then a good mix of stuff. Let's get into it. First item. First item. This is a vintage um, Emmett Smith Dallas Cowboys jersey. Uh, it is just an extra large, but it did sell for $29 shipped. That one's been up for a while, too. Um, that was one that was in my personal collection for a while I had gotten. It doesn't really fit me, per se, but I had kept it, and then I was like, I'm never going to use this. So Linda kind of told me to get rid of my closet and stuff, so I sold it. But it finally sold for 29 bucks. And then next up, we have a vintage Ar Aramis? 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 Ar your guess it's is aftershave. Four fluid ounces. Um, it is pre-owned. It is a discontinued version, um, but it did sell for $34 shipped. So pretty happy with that. Old perfume and different stuff sells. Be careful. Look it up. Um, can be money there for sure, but not all of it, like yeah. anything. Uh, oh, wait, this... Next up, we have The Sims Busting Out for PS2, and this one sold for $9 shipped. Did you ever play The Sims? No. I didn't really play The Sims either, but I know people who spent days and just days and days of their life. People, just that was their life. Yeah, I think people still do it. Anyways... <laughs> Whatever you're That's into, why we right? Keep coming out with them. Yep. Next up, we have a book. This is an American sickness: how healthcare became big business. Sadly, there's some and truth how you to that. Can take it back. Yeah. I'm sure, I give it to my sister. Um, but that book did sell for nine dollars. That's in the three fifty buy, so just a little book there. This is a cool little thing, not worth a whole lot, but this is a back to basic splendor um, cap part replacement piece, and it did sell for ten dollars ship. We bought the blender for three bucks. We sold the blender like the the lid and the pitcher or whatever and the blade for like thirty dollars spent three and then we sold this little piece for ten so we love parting stuff out it's an easy way to make money on stuff kitchen kitchen appliance especially because people lose pieces break them next item we'll just show you because it's buried but it's on the screen hopefully at some point this is sony dvd vcr combo it is tested it does come with the remote and the av cables and this one for you guys taking notes is slv d281 p and model, that one apparently. sold for 96 dollars ship i think that one was 15 bucks um i don't know if it came with the remote or not but pretty good unit i know a lot of people are getting tired of vcrs one big youtuber in particular they're not even doing hard goods anymore so we will still probably nothing to judge them but we'll probably continue to do them um, i still like selling them there is a lot of broken units though when you buy these you have to know that some of them aren't going to work or going to have issues especially if you're testing them thoroughly that's why you want to get them cheap if you can or make sure they have a remote 
So at least if it doesn't work, you might sell the remote and make your money back. Um, or if you know someone who can fix them. I'm not that talented. One of my, uh, you know, not skills is electricity stuff. I probably fry myself if I worked on it too much. I do open them up, pop them open, and, you know, clean them out with a little air thing. And I can do stuff like that, but soldering and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure I could do it, but, you know, you guys want to watch me. I don't want to kill myself, so we don't mess around. But, again, if you're going to sell them, be careful. There are some issues, and if you don't test them well enough, you will get returns. Yeah. So, anyways. Next up, we have a cassette. This is Steely Dan, Can't Buy a Thrill. It's a broken cassette, so it's got some rubber band on there to hold it together. But it did sell for $11 shipped. Not too much, but, you know, good enough. Then we've got an Abbott and Costello Who's on First Baseball. This is the number two. Well, it's actually got all of them, oh. which I thought too. I'm like, oh crap, I listed them all as number two, but they're not. Oh no, they have all the numbers. <laughs> but it did sell for $25. This shipped. is from the big Abbott and Costello buy. We've sold almost all the shirts that were the baseball ones. I have some t-shirts left and this is our second ball to sell. We, probably, we spend two bucks on each ball. And this is our second one to sell. So Here comes another PS2 game. This is, We're not going to make fun of Lena for yawning because she has had a long day, so this is got to give her a break. Shonen Jump, One Piece Grand Battle, and this one sold for $18. I've never seen this game. This one's been listed for a while, too. You can tell yeah, by the I background. <laughs> I thought it, by the looks of it, it might go for more, but it didn't. Next up, we've got the Guitar Player Repair Guide. Hmm, we do. Here it is. This is a paperback book, and it sold for... Give myself a little note here. $15 shipped. I was repairing my own guitar. You never repaired your own guitar? Yeah, I don't even know how to work a guitar, really. You know I'm a sound guy at church. Well, just because you can twist some knobs doesn't mean you're a sound guy. That makes me an expert. Next up, we've got Streets of Rage for Sega Genesis. It Boom. is just the case only, guys. Fun no game, manual. actually. I remember playing this game. No manual, no case, no nothing. No case. No case. No manual. We're just selling the idea of Streets of Rage. <laughs> we'll send you a digital printout of the It's like the, the guy case. who drew that Sonic, remember who drew, he had the little black and white Sonic case that we had? Anyways, this, this sold for? This one sold for almost $20 shipped. It's a pretty good game and it sells pretty well if you can find it. Next up, we've got uh, out of the camera stuff. Well, this is a new the camera we got, just sold the other day for 89 bucks. Yeah. 25 bucks. This little lens was in there. This is a Minolta Rocker X MD 50 millimeter. Um, I don't know much about lens. I'm learning. But camera I'm not, lens? Yeah, it's a little guy, but it sold for? It sold for $30 shipped. Pretty good. Happy to see it go. And there were a lot listed. I, I was towards the, you know, lower portion of what they were listed for, but mine still sold like right away. So I'll take it. Next up, this is one show? of my mom. My mom and I used to watch this one all the time. We could sing the theme song and everything. Um, this is Big Bang Theory used to complete season seven, and it is sealed and it sold for seven and a half. It's shipped. not marked in there, but I this was from a Salvation Army auction. It was twenty bucks shipped for a bunch of sealed media. Um, it had the eight team in it, which we already sold for I think fifty bucks, and then we sold this for like a little bit. There's a couple other ones that are I think sold or we have left, but that one for whatever reason wasn't that great. Yeah. It's a good TV show though. I thought it was pretty funny. Next up is the Bestie Buy. So I wasn't means... allowed to watch it with Linda or her mom. Before you. Oh, before my time. BC before camera. Yeah. Rough time. Yeah. Really troubled people back then. Oh god. Just kidding. They were great until they. This is a Bestie yeah. Buy, which means it was only a dollar. Um no, this one was. Wow. This one was five dollars. Prices are just getting too high for us now. Yeah, this one was five dollars. This is a Levi Strauss men's um, denim jean jacket. Best. Great for a little Harley Ladder. Not thing. a jacket, sorry, vest. Um, and it sold for forty dollars shipped. Yeah. And it and, was only a medium. And I had it listed as large because I there's no size tag. I thought, but there's like a little M somewhere, and someone, a kind person, wrote, "Just so you know, that little M is actually medium. It's really hard to see it, but that's a medium jacket." And it was, I either thought it was a medium or a large based on size. So I took their word for it. If they're wrong, that was a jerk move. But they're if they're right, I appreciate the assistance. <laughs> I appreciate it. I think they were trying to be helpful. So next. Next up, this is a vintage 1988 uh, TMNT Rocksteady action figure. And he sold for $11 and some change. Do you know who the other bad guy from Ninja Turtles that was with, with him? Oh, have you ever seen Ninja Turtles? From 1988? Well, they, you've seen the movies. Like, I'm sure you've seen other movies that happened in the past, like Star Wars and stuff. Even though you weren't around for those when they came out, but you still watch them. I didn't watch. Yeah, I, even, I don't even know you. 
Put it in the comments, guys. I'm sure some someone out there knows. Next. Next up, this is a rare bop it. It, it looks is cool. the Sonic Green one. It is missing the cover for the battery thing, but that's why it still didn't sell as well. Yeah, but it did sell for twenty eight and a half shipped, and it is going global shipping program. So that was been up for a minute, but um, yeah, if you can find them working, a lot of bop it's even the original bop it does sell. So keep an eye out, look out which that one it is. Yeah, it is fun. It's good. we got Noah or my parents got Noah a mini one, and it was like literally it's like this big, but it's got all the buttons on it and stuff, and you have to like. It was difficult because it's smaller. Yeah, we played it. It was pretty fun. I think everyone enjoyed it. Next up, this is a crazy one, guys. Crazy? No. Yeah. If you know what it tiny. is, you don't. <laughs> it's tiny. Linda doesn't know about red lines, but this is a Hot Wheels I've heard red the line. Term. Yeah, she thinks it's when your car is redlining, but. Or you get that pinstripe. All right. She doesn't know what a Hot Wheels red I line is. I drive on red line all the time. I know you do. Next. This is a Hot Wheels Red Line 1974 Backwoods Bomb Camper. It is blue and some green and yellow on there as well. And it says keep on camping and it sold for $43 shipped. This came out of the guy who sold us all the manuals, um, Steve. He came said he had a bunch of stuff he wanted to sell as well. We spent 200 on a box of Hot Wheels, a bunch of Red Lines in there, some Toyota OEM parts, some old books, a bunch of toys, some m and stuff. Ended up offering him 200 bucks. Um, I'll be honest, if it was with anybody else, like on the at a garage, so I probably would have offered a little bit less. But he's been so good. The manuals have been such a good buy for us. I thought that was a fair price and worth his time to sell it to me, where he felt like um, it was going to be okay. We will make money on it regardless, but um, there's a couple of red lines that will do pretty well. This one was one of the best ones for 43 bucks or whatever it was. So Pretty cool. And it's sold within a, a week or so, or a couple days or so, yeah. not a week. Next up, this is a Kylie buy. This is You'll see on the screen the board game A Touch of Evil. Um, it is a supernatural board game, and it does come with supernatural. We did three packs, so it's the original, and then two of the expansion packs, which there's actually like three or four of them, from what I learned. Um, she had to, Linda was nice enough to count all the pieces. She did a wonderful job. <laughs> I had got it out, and I one day I don't know where you were, and I was like I was starting to count it. And the kids with it, I was like, I just give up. I'm just going to list it as is. He I just, it was sitting all over the dining room table when I walked out and I'm like. And I just put it all together and she goes, I'll nope. take care of it. And I'm like, really? You're going to look it up? And she went to the board game. What is it called? We should mention the board. Oh, yeah. So you guys need to go. Um, you do create an account on this and it's free. It's boardgamegeek.com. So boardgamegeek.com actually has a lot of geeks on there who will go through and they will put up the the um gameplay manual if you need it so you can download it to put with yours yeah, like they will out. put out they literally will count out each individual piece so if your game says it comes with a slew of characters and it doesn't actually yeah. list the characters somebody will go on there and they will down give you a pdf to download and tell you exactly what each character is and how many pieces there are like a lot of times with the crazy. tokens i know they'll be like yeah. and a bunch of tokens or yeah. it this says game a bunch specifically of... said a bunch of tokens and yeah. i was like a bunch you like, don't know if you're selling a complete game yeah. you know is a bunch 50 or is it 25 yeah. or whatever so craziness a lot of people probably just list it as is but again this is a way to if you want to be exact a little bit of your time but linda did that and this one ended up selling for for 125 dollars shipped we spent 25 on it. it is a little bit bigger so i'm sure shipping will probably be around 20 bucks but yeah. plenty of money there and i think the time she did spend some time on it but worth it for us to maximize our profit on it yeah um, i I'm mean both. i sat there with the kids and Tori was having lunch, so I was just having Tori eat and while I'm there just talking to her counting board pieces. So it's not like it's like, you know, it took me that long. It's just a lot of pieces. And then, of course, Zane comes through and goes, I want to play. And then it was like, oh, that's, crap. That's when the bad stuff happens. No, you can't play this game. We but, have some board games yeah. I think that we're missing pieces because of Zane. Yeah. Because he got to them. Yeah. But definitely BoardGameGeek.com. Make an account on there so you have it at all times. Um, a lot of people find the... Um, What's that? Is it Catan? Sellers of Catan. Or yeah, Katana. and there's all those different things. Those are all on there. Literally, you just type in what board game you need, and it pops up, and people will tell you all kinds of stuff. And, like, if you actually want to play that game, there's a lot of things on there, like some insider You never know what you're opening up, a bunch yeah, of weirdness. Just kidding. If you're on there, good for you. Anyways, <laughs> next item. Next item. This is a working or, or not working for parts item. This is a Nook Simple Touch. And it sold for twelve dollars. It almost looks change. fake, but it did power up. I don't know. I yeah, saw... those ones are weird because they look like they have like the fake screen on them still. It is, but it did power up, but it won't do anything. Anyways, this oh, was a you cool have to one. Know how to read. 
Ah, Next up, missed that part. This is a quantity of two. So these are Canon 52 millimeter front lens caps. Um, same ones. They are, yeah, the exact same. Um, somebody bought both of them for eighteen dollars shipped. No, these did not. These are not. I didn't pull these off a camera that I have or whatever. I bought a camera. It had a lens with cap on it, and then it had these extra caps <clears> in the bag. <clears throat> Have these extra caps in the bag and they sold for 18 bucks so if you're at a sale or you buy a camera and a bunch of camera stuff look up some of these lens caps because people are going to spend eight to ten bucks on a cap sometimes to get there with their lens so definitely worth it and this person bought two which is even cooler well sometimes you lose them too yeah I'm you're sure. out doing a shoot and oh crap where to go i'm not be shooting anybody that's not good Oh, That's like, oh yeah, that too. So next up, we have a bestie buy. So shoes, how much do you charge for shoes? I bought four pairs for sixty bucks. This is the best pair, which is why I bought the set. The other ones will sell for probably thirty to forty bucks each. So these, we got sixty bucks into four pairs. These are a pair of Nike Air Max nineties. These are the Essential Squadron Blue. They're pretty cool. They're blue zone. and wolf gray. They sold. They sold in like two days for or ninety three dollars shipped. I don't know, like ninety eight bucks for something. There were some listed for like one thirty, but they weren't. None of them were selling for that price. And these are actually only a nine and a half, so it's not like they're like a crazy size that you couldn't get. No, um, they wouldn't fit me, but they're definitely, you know, not a big big size or whatever. But yeah, they were there weren't a bunch listed, but none of them really selling for that price. And some had sold for I think eighty or less. I took that ninety three dollar offer. I spent sixty on everything. We're already in the money now. Um, and I'll sell the other shoes when we can and we'll make the rest of the profit. It was more of a double up buy, but because I knew these shoes would sell and the other ones would sell, I grabbed them. Next. Next up out of the $700 manual buy, guys. This is a 2005 Honda CRV factory manual. And this one sold for $55 chips. Pretty good, pretty good. And we have more coming, so the manual buy paid off. I did. Next up, we Again. have a Wii. It's all packed up in this little bag. Yeah, this is a Nintendo Wii with all the parts. You get a controller, you get the uh, sensor bar, you get a nunchuck, you get all the thingies. And this one sold for $65 shipped. Yep, I remember when Wii's were going for like $100 shipped when just nothing because of COVID and stuff. But here we are. That's how the world has changed. People wanted the better stuff. They were willing to pay because they were stuck at home. Next up, this is a pack of four. This is a complete one through four volumes of Faith of Our Fathers. Mm -hmm. um, not, which kind of fathers are we talking about? Are we talking about like the forefathers? I have no idea, but I just bought it as a set. Ah, but that so set, but that set sold for twenty six dollars and. It was a dollar each book, so four dollars in ships out. That one took a while to sell, so don't know if I'd recommend it. But. Next up, this is out of our local Goodwill. This is Ignatius Catholic Study Bible. Yeah. It's got a cool cover. That's what draw me, drew me to it on the side and everything looked nice. But it didn't sell for a ton, but it sold pretty quickly. And it sold for $24 shipped. So pretty good. Let's see if any lost money in here. Nope. Nothing. Sometimes people use dollars as bookmarks. Yeah, they had the, or they cut out part of the Bible and the inside's a bunch of money. Anyways, next. Next up is a $700 manual buy. This is a 2006 to 2008 Honda Pilot service manual. And this See one it? sold for $120 shipped. Awesome, 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 guys. It's a big book, though. Like, if you were to hit somebody with that, you'd do some serious yeah. damage. But, again, that's, what, 170-something bucks on manuals this weekend. And we have one more to show you. Um, definitely making plenty of money on these. And I think I've only listed, like, 80 or 90. We thought we had 300. That's what he thought. I think he miscounted. I think... <laughs> It's more than that because I haven't really made a dent and I've already listed 90 so we'll see but I think there's probably more like 400 which Next is fine up, by me this is a Pokemon the movie 2000 activity book uh, it's, it's from Comfort Inn yeah so you used to went to Comfort Inn it's pretty cool Pokemon. you would think that. yeah I, we had two of them I got two of them for like a buck each and you this did one, one yourself didn't you no I put it up on the wall actually in my closet no, I sold it. We sold it already. This one sold for seven dollars and some change. They didn't sell for that. Well, I thought they would, but at least it's going to a good collector, hopefully. Next up, out of the vintage cleaning stuff, this is a vintage Colgate Instant Live Lime Shave Cream. I don't from, know if it smells like lime, but we don't want to open it. It's from like the early '80s, but yeah. it sold for. We sold it for thirty dollars shipped. This is from all that old health and beauty type stuff we had that was from that vintage storage unit that someone had bought. We've sold a bunch of the shaving creams. We've sold. We sold a lot of other stuff too. You got me. <laughs> a lot of other stuff too. So pretty good. And for whatever reason, the shaving creams actually sold really well. This is like our third one to sell. I think people, because we put it in there as like a prop. 
So I'm wondering if people, I mean, I hope somebody's not using it. It'd be cool if it showed up in like a little TV show or something. Yeah, that would be cool because I don't know if you should use this stuff after so long. I don't think you should. I put it in there as a prop so that way people would be safe. Next item. Next item. This is a Camelback Maximum Gear Tan Backpack um, Cordura. Yeah, it says it on the side. I don't know much about it, but it's Oh, there. okay. Um, and it sold for $135. I think that's from the military buy. <laughs> One of our last few items from there, but um, awesome. And we, we've already made a ton of money on the military stuff. So this is probably, if there is a bus this week, it might be this. These have been here forever. Not forever. They haven't been here for that long, but they didn't sell for that much. And um, shipping is going to be quite a bit. But This is a four pack of RC wheels from the new bright uh, Ford Raptor. And yeah. we did sell them as is. Some of them are kind of dented and they're yucky and... I don't know why somebody wants them, but I don't they know paid why I listed them, guys. But here we are. Eighteen dollars shipped. Eighteen bucks. Um, they'll probably cost ten bucks to ship it, so I don't think we'll make that much. I mean, we won't make much on the Pokemon thing either, but probably lower risk of return for this than that. So, anyways, it happens. Every once in a while, we're gonna have a couple items, guys. Usually in every video that are just not worth selling, but at least they moved out, and hopefully Cameron will make better decisions when he lists next time. Next item. Next item. This is a Kylie buy. Lots of golf clubs when they went out. Well, our friend's doing okay. He's alive. He's alive. We were worried about him, but he just got a text, so that's why we looked at the phone. <laughs> so good for him. He's actually the source that we buy from. Anyways. We were wondering what happened to him. We hadn't heard from him in a while, and there was people were wondering where he was, but he's... Our pocketbooks were kind of like... Uh, he's, he's, been, he's our friend, so we, we, want, we wish him well anyways, but we're glad he found his way home. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Next. guy. Next up, this is a Kylie buy. So you guys bought a ton of golf clubs when you were out there. Yeah, we're, we're getting through them, though. We've gotten, we sold most of them. So but actually, like, Kylie messaged you that she's finally listing her golf yeah, clubs. Yeah, she had some golf clubs. I think when I when she first came out here, she had them in, or right before she came out here. And then now she finally got around to listing them. She's been nervous. Yeah, she texted, I get it. I'm golf finally club, doing it. Golf clubs with the different things in the shaft, the flex, you know, the, whatever degree it is. Different things like that can be confusing. So I understand. But it's worth your time to learn it, guys. This so, We bought... Three of these uh, tailor-made clubs for sixty bucks. They're women's clubs. Um, she was she Kyle was with me at the sale, and then this one sold for. This one sold for seventy-five dollars shipped. We also and sold one for okay. It is going global shipping program, so they paid way. I don't know why they're paying so much. It's probably going to Canada, um, but uh, we Canadians. ended up selling three of those clubs. One for a hundred. Australia. Wow, one for eighty-five and one for seventy-five. So whatever that math is, is pretty good for a sixty-dollar buy. Next up, this one. It's a, it's right there. She's finally leaving us. We sold the doll. We sold the doll. Personal, Linda's personal collection. She is a big fan of dolls. Porcelain dolls. Loves them. No. This is a Dolls by Pauline. This is Amanda. She is a limited edition 18 inch doll. And she sold for $50 shipped. And she is also going global shipping program. Yeah. This is a lady who had messaged me about the dolls a while back. Australia. And then, yeah, she's from Australia. Can and we then, just do a big pallet and send everything at once? And then someone came and swooped in and bought two of the dolls that she wanted. And she didn't message me back. I'm like, okay. But she ended up, I think that's this is the same lady. And then she bought this one for 50 We only have three, four more dolls left. We've sold through the 10 that we had. We have all you the sure? circus bears. Yeah, we got one there, one there, and then two there. Oh, okay. Yeah, the rest are all um, circus bears. So we're looking up at our nightmare here. But the dolls have paid off. We spent 100 on all the dolls, and we've already made profit. Um, this one sold for 50 just bucks. took a long time. Uh, the dolls were worth I would still buy the dolls again. I would not buy the circus bears. I hope that whoever made these just realizes no one wants these. They're creepy. Yeah. They're creepy. And maybe if someone's doing like a circus bear haunted house, these would be good. You could really do them up. Yeah. Anyway. That's how we need to like, like mm -hmm. put them in the Haunted channel. circus bears. Maybe I'll try that. Anyways, if you want a circus bear, hit us up. But that doll sold for you 50 You want one? We got it. Next, last manual for the weekend. This is out of the $700 manual buy. This is a 2000 to 2003 Honda S2000 service repair manual. And it sold for $50. We've sold shipped. five of these or something. This is our last one that I know. We'll check Very to see if there's any car. more. But yeah, this one is desirable. We made quite a bit of money on just that hopefully one. Hopefully we've got more of those in there. Yeah, hopefully because they sell quick. <laughs> Next up, this is a United Methodist hymnal. Uh, from 1989 and it did sell for $37 shipped. I didn't realize it was that pricey. Nice and it's a little bit beat up but that was only a dollar so good deal there. Here we go. This is probably another one you don't want to sell. This is America's Greatest Hits for History by mm -hmm. Warner Brothers and it sold for $6 and some change. Not a whole lot. It's out of here. 
next up out of off of a margarita margarita making machine by nostalgia did i might say nostalgia yeah. by nostalgia reading. Too you many made ends. fun of me for reading but look at you anyways we parted out the margarita this is not the margaritaville there's a difference no, this, this is, is the, the margarita, margarita. We sold the little nozzle piece. We sold the lid, I think, and maybe one other piece. And then this. This is the handle sold for $10 shipped. I think it was like Dick and Rita bought. Someone, I forgot what their name was. That was his name that messaged me. Well, Dick and Barb. Dick and Barb. They wanted this. It was like 12 bucks, and they asked for a deal on it. I sent an offer for 10 So I figure there are not many, too, too many people looking for this, but at least it's out of here. Next, Next up, we have a myth and legends of mankind. Classic mythology is it mythology? I don't know what it is. I, I just Maybe. listed it. Um, <laughs> but I, just, it did, I just work here. I it did you. sell for twenty seven dollars. This shipped. is from that old book pie. We spent fifty bucks. We're already in the profits on it. It's you gonna can tell because of the smell. The old book smell. But anyways, it's out of here. What do we got next? Next up, we got some Rit. What is the Rit? Okay, I'm on the wrong one. I'm thinking we got the VHS. This is a lot of five Rit laundry treatment. We're running out. We really are. I looked in there. We got all these. Um, I can probably do another listing of this type and then I got to relist the other type, but these sold for $25. Sad day, but 30 bucks on a whole trash bag full of written. If you've been watching us, we've been selling a lot of it. We probably sold more writ than anybody else out there. <laughs> Cause I don't think anybody had this much, but at least this kind of writ, this particular one, people have the other, the newer writ, but this old laundry treatment we've have been had the most, I think. Well, writ does all the dyes, dyes and, and stuff, stuff too. And yeah. that it's big right now because everyone on yeah, TikTok. But the long, the rust that. remover, I, there weren't many people that had it and we've had tons of it and it's been selling next next up this is a kids songs very silly songs vhs and it sold for 15 dollars shipped the kids songs if you get a bunch of them they do sell but it's kind of slow but that one was for whatever reason worth a little more by itself well you gotta buy a vhs player not a play. well some people kept theirs diehards dad. Little, yeah, I know. dad your people like your dad next one <laughs> he's got one of every kind of player just in case because yeah what if the other tech just dies and there's nothing left like the other day when the internet went out and he goes yeah, we can watch a movie because I have my Blu-ray player. I was like, everyone was like, we'll just go on our phone. Yeah. You know, because you don't... You he don't wanted know. to watch a movie, though. It was just to prove a point. <laughs> Anyways, that his investment paid out. Next up, this is a Razer Naga 2014 yeah. Gamer Laser Mouse. And it sold for $25. Shipping. 25 bucks out the door. It was a dollar. Next up, we got a Cuisinart. This is a Kylie buy. This is a Cuisinart Elite Cut Food Processor Bowl yep. replacement. And it sold for $35. This shipped. is from, it's actually from a thrift store. It was like 20 bucks or 15 bucks for the whole, 15 bucks for the whole unit. And then we sold this for 35 And I think we sold the lid for 29 or something like that. And I think we sold the blade or something. We sold enough pieces to make it worth it. Yeah. Next up, we have a pair of Duluth Trading Men's Carpenter Jeans. These are like the line ones, like the super thick ones. The fleece line, yeah. Yeah, they were two bucks at a garage sale, two or three bucks, and they sold for over thirty dollars ship. But they're heavy. They're not going to fit in a pattern. No. I'll tell you that. The Those Duluth Trading Company, the ones with the long shirts commercials, are hilarious. They're funny, so. yeah. I like the one with the gopher when he's like the guy's bending over and the gopher looks and like the eye contact with the butt crack. It's just so. You wouldn't like that one. It's hilarious. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Next. Next up, we have a lot of 23 Bible Learn series books. These are 1970s vintage Christian Bible school books. They're on like a bunch of the different characters the char of the Bible. People from the Bible. Like there's Ruth, Daniel, Philip, Mary, Jesus. Elijah, Jesus. Isaiah's in there, all kinds of stuff. I don't, we don't, I don't think it's a whole set. We have 23 of them. And they sold for $40 shit. 40 bucks. I want to say I spent five bucks on the whole stack. I don't remember. Um, but go, probably going to go medium. I only sold them for 40. We probably wouldn't upgrade it unless the price was pretty comparable. But, you know, at least it's getting out of here. Next up, last item. This is from our local library used bookstore. Um, they do sell all kinds of stuff. This is a Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection Alice in Wonderland VHS. Um, not it's a black diamond. Not a black diamond. But it did sell. For $18 shipped. That was 50 cents. So I don't recommend going to buying a bunch of Disney VHSs that are still just not worth your time. But with that said, if you get the right ones, some of them have some value. Yeah. So this one's on its way. Anything else? Oh, live sale. Live sale. You can talk about it. I'll try to find it. This is going to be a vintage 80s um, Hawaiian shirt. It looks like 
Cameron listed it as like a Magnum PI shirt. Yeah, he wore this shirt like this. Oh, he wore a shirt like this in the movie. Paradise Found Magnum PI Hawaiian shirt. It's got parrots on it's it. The red one with the parrots. Yeah, it's a red one with parrots on it, and it is a size large. Found he found it. This one always. I probably sold this shirt three times, but. Here we go. It always sells. Paradise Found. So that you guys, if you've seen Magnum PI, you'll recognize a shirt like this, and it's sold for forty dollars shipped. Forty bucks, and that was five or six bucks at the thrift store. So I, every time I see that, when I pick it up, I can get it for the right price because. People will buy it. Send an offer out for 40. It will set like 46. So that's all we got. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a long video, but we had a lot of stuff to show you. Plus, we like talking to uh, the camera. Even if you guys, you know, don't want to watch, we still like to do it. So we appreciate if you made it this far. Let us know in the comments. Hope you guys are having great sales out there, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.